Well, hello. On today's show, we're going to talk about the major Ethereum hard fog that is happening today, the 28th of February, 2018. No, it's not 2018, is it? It's 2019. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the highlights of what's happening today in terms of the Ethereum hard fork, which is more appropriately called an upgrade because hard fork has a terribly controversial and um, <laughs> fearful connotations to it. So I'll run through that and I'm going to do it from the point of view of crypto investors. I'm not going to go into the technology of it. I'm really here to serve crypto investors more than anything else. So I'll run through that. We'll see what's happening with the Ethereum USD chart and that'll be it for the day. So once again, I've created a new coupon code, one use for one person that can use it today. If you want to get 50% off my entire curriculum of cryptocurrency courses for crypto investors, check out the link in the video description and the coupon code, which will give you 50% off the tuition. It can only be used by one person per day. So if you try and use it and it says invalid coupon code, it means someone's already used it. So once one person has used it, it's invalid. And then you have to wait till tomorrow until I create another one. So there we go. Let's get on with it, shall we? Let's cut right to the chase. If you want to go and monitor the um, fork in real time, you go to this link. It's forkmon, M-O-N dot fdevops.io. This is a real time um, graph of the state of the Ethereum chain. And it's counting the blocks, you know, in real time as they are mined. Now the upgrade, this Constantinople, St. Petersburg upgrade, is set to happen at block number 7,280,000 dead. So go to that address that I just mentioned to see exactly how close that is at the point when you're listening or watching this video. Right now, as I record this, we're at block number 7,278,427. Hey, Professor Wally, nice to see you back. Um, thanks for that. Just give us a $15 tip. Missed you on the live stream last me week, mate. I actually mentioned you. So thank you. So check out Professor Wally's Gunbot University if you want to trade with bots. Pretty good stuff. Now, the um, the Constantinople hard fork upgrade. This was the upgrade that was previously due to happen at block number 7,080,000. So it should have happened 200,000 blocks ago, which you might know this already because we covered it on the channel. And it was, um, it was delayed because a bug was found by a third-party security firm 48 hours before the fork was supposed to happen. So crisis averted there. Now that feature that had the bug is being left out this time, as far as I can tell. So no concerns there. No concerns that they fixed it and they might not have fixed it. As far as I can tell, they're actually leaving that feature out. Uh, so, you know, there is no risk of that happening again. Not to that feature anyway. There might be other bugs, but, you know, that's an unknown unknown. Now then, the new version of the Ethereum software is incompatible with previous versions. That's why it's called a hard fork, um, because it's a, you know, if you look at the thumbnail, it's a, it's, a, it's a hard turn off the highway. It's not a soft fork. So if you remember back to Bitcoin SegWit, Bitcoin SegWit upgrade was a soft fork, meaning you could run both the new and the old versions of the software and they would interact with each other just fine. And that allowed people time to gradually upgrade over to the new version until, you know, eventually everyone's on the, the new version and then the old version is redundant. Hard fork's different in the sense that at the at the block number 7,280,000, that's it. The old version of the software, a mass a migration of users is going to move to the new version. And then if you haven't upgraded, you're going to be left on a fork with a low population. So the big change here that I, from a crypto investor's point of view, the biggest change is there's technical changes, of course, but the biggest change is the reduction in how much miners are going to get paid. So currently miners are paid three ether for mining a block, and that's going down to two ether for mining a block. Now, if the Ethereum price remains the same, we'll check the charts in just a second, that's basically a 33% reduction in revenue for miners. Next question, do you need to do anything as a crypto investor? Most users, the answer to that is no, because you're probably using a light client, excuse me, meaning you're not running a full version of the blockchain. If you're using something like a hardware wallet, Trezor, KeepKey, you know, Ledger, no problem. Ledger, Trezor, KeepKey, they're gonna take care of all the upgrades for you. They are serving you with a full version of the blockchain. No th nothing for you to do but wait. 
The other thing is that the um, the Ethereum core developers are due to hold a hard fork debrief meeting on Friday at 2 p.m. at UTC. Now they norm don't quote me on this, but they normally live stream these these developer calls and put the recordings on the Ethereum uh, YouTube channel. So they're, they're going to debrief it. But if you want the full agenda of this meeting, you head over to github.com forward slash Ethereum forward slash PM forward slash issues forward slash the number 82. So this is Ethereum core developers meeting 56 agenda. And uh, there it says Friday, the 1st of March, 2019, 2 p.m. UTC, about 1.5 hours duration. And here is the YouTube live stream link. So yes, they are going to live stream it. Didn't see that link the first time, but now I've seen it, there it is. So if you want to watch it in real time, go ahead. By then though, the fork will have happened and then uh, they'll they'll debrief it. So where is all this going, you might ask? Well, once this upgrade is successful, it's another step towards a more fundamental change for Ethereum that's been prepared for, which is a move from a proof of work consensus algorithm to a proof of stake consensus algorithm. The difference being that in proof of work, you burn electricity to power your mining machines and find the nonce before everybody else and get the mining reward. In proof of stake, it doesn't really work like that. It's based on random selection and the probability of getting selected is based on how many tokens you have staked. So proof of work, computing work versus proof of stake. Prove you've done the work or prove that you have a stake in the network by staking Ethereum. So that's the major difference. That's going to, well, that completely resets the economics in Ethereum. So it's a fundamental change to the uh, economic incentive model and the way that our whole works. So it's going to it's going to mean Ethereum can scale because it's not going to be held back by proof of work. Um, but at the same time, it's well, we don't know what's going to happen, right? We honestly don't know. So that's that's um, something to look out for. Now, finally, as I promised, how does the market feel about this whole thing? Let's have a look. So what I've got here is Ethereum US dollar Bitfinex price feed. Um, I'm moving to this triple triple screen uh, setup, which is something I learned from Dr. Alexander Elder. If you know him, he's like a, wrote some very famous trading books. But I've got the one day chart on the left, the six hour chart in the center, the one hour chart on the far right. So I can see three time periods at once. So on the nothing much is happening on the on the markets so far. Um, very small price movement for the day. Ethereum is actually up 2% on the day, and we are still a while away from, we're still 12 hours halfway through the trading day. So on the daily chart, we're resting on the 80-day EMA. On the six-hour chart, we're also resting on the 80-day EMA. And on the one-hour chart, we you look at this big dump from yesterday, the whole market did that, Bitcoin did it, and then it rebounded. I've drawn somewhat of a, uh, a very tight wedge. It's a symmetrical triangle. It's not entirely symmetrical, so we'll just call it a wedge. On the six hour, there's a wedge. The highs are getting slightly lower, but the lows are getting higher faster if you disregard the massive drop down. What was interesting is there was a lot of volume on that um, 8 p.m. candle where the whole market kind of dropped, but it recovered within a few hours, which is pretty good. In terms of the menu Tom DeMarc indicator, uh, there's, the, there's not much of a count going on here, so that's not really telling us anything. But market kind of calm right now, so market pretty happy with that. Actually, I lie. I say the Tom DeMarc's not showing anything. It was it was showing um, 10 p.m. last night. We had a nine count on the one hour chart that was calling for a pullback, which didn't actually come. So that's positive. This was this was showing a nine count potential pullback to or to the upside. That is, no, no, it's a potential pullback to the downside. You can tell I'm just learning this indicator, can't you? So I best shut up because. That started like, I started to sound like I didn't know what I was talking about because I didn't, which is why I stopped talking. <laughs> I'm still learning this indicator. So um, that, uh, that nine means something. <laughs> it's just I'm not prepared to think on my feet and look like a fool. If I don't know what I'm talking about, I shall say so. Don't know what I'm talking about. So there we go. That is all I've got for you today. So if you like this episode, go ahead, hit the like button. If you really liked it, hit the old subscribe button, will you? Hit the bell as well. Some people are complaining they're not getting... Uh, notifications of new videos, so make sure you hit the bell. Make sure someone uses the coupon code for my online courses. There's the online school, it's cryptoasset.school. Even if someone's used the coupon code, just spend a dollar and take the three day trial. You know, I was speaking to someone the other day who was like, how do I know it's worth the money? Well, you don't. And uh, there's no point in me convincing you because anything I say can't be relied on because I'm trying to sell you it. So. 
That's what the $1 trial is for. You know, what am I going to do? Rip you off for a dollar? Maybe. But risk it. Risk the dollar. Poke around for three days. You get full access to it. And then uh, you'll know for yourself. You don't have to rely on anything I say. You can decide for yourself whether what's on offer is worth the money or not. If you cancel it within three days, there you go. You've lost a dollar and you've found out for sure. And uh, the maximum you can lose is a dollar, right? I'm not going to get rich off of scamming people out of one dollar at a time, am I? So that's that. Um, then you can also support me by going to the website, thecryptoverse.show. If you click on the blue button, which is support the show, it will take you through to Patreon, which, believe it or not, is down right now. It says it's down for maintenance, but I don't believe them because prior to going live, the, the site just wasn't loading. So I think they've got a technical problem. <laughs> and now they're just putting up, oh, yes, it's down for scheduled maintenance. I don't think so. I think they've got a technical issue and their site's gone down. But when that's back up and running, I would very much appreciate if you would sign up as a patron because you can now get a return on your investment if you support the show. When the site comes back up again, watch the trailer video. It's a four-minute video where I explain exactly how supporting the show as a patron will get you a return on investment. Other than that, I'll be back with the next episode of The Cryptoverse. So until then, it's me, Chris Coney, saying... Bye for now.